Ready? All right, here we are at the Forge. You see who I'm with, Waylon? Hey. Hey, Killer's <laughs> Confession. How's it going? How you been? Everything going fine? Everything is going great, Ben. Uh, it's been a great tour out with my boys in Gemini Syndrome. Yeah. We got Outlier with us and Pushing Veronica. Been a great tour. Um, it's nice to be with old friends again. Yeah. And uh, if anybody knows my history of Mushroom Head, uh, Jim and I went out with, when they first started, uh, went out with Mushroom Head. And I used to bring Aaron on stage, became really close friends. So it was nice to come back and we were discussing the other night we were just we were laughing it's like you know it's funny Waylon last time we toured you were doing the hour and a half set and I was doing 30 <laughs> minutes I'm like it's awesome <laughs> that's all I say it's like it's awesome I'll keep the last time I saw you here was with Mushroom Man yes and we were actually we went uh, my photographer at the time and I were across the street waiting to do an interview with you guys you guys were over there eating this so we ended up eating with you guys I don't, you forget, don't was remember. it the barbecue joint no, right across the street. Okay, right okay, okay, okay. Yeah, right there. Uh, you got you just sitting right there. Y'all had your IDs down on, on your keychains or whatever. And I'm like, I think that's. You followed the smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you wear all that get up, you stink. I'm not going to lie, man. It's like there's not many. Uh, when you're living on a bus and you don't do the hotel thing, right. you don't shower much. No. <laughs> and you know, I, I come to enjoy hygiene. <laughs> Um, I like smelling like um, roses, and, roses. Uh, and I, I don't like to smell. And, you know, wearing that mask every day in the jumpsuits, you, you, get, you get ripe. Yeah. You get real ripe. And I shared a photo, the last photo we took of you and the other singer, mm -hmm. and you were trying to tell him, I was like, yeah, I tried to tell him, you got to put the opening in the top so the heat can get out of your head. <laughs> yes. And you were the only one that had an opening in the top because you told him. Well, I did, the, I did the, 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 the half mask. Right. And uh, I, after doing the original mask of the hummingbird and the skull, um, and it was just it was so brutal. And I, was, I came up with the idea, I was like, well, I'm going to put it here and just leave this all open so the heat can escape. And it, and it was nowhere near as bad. <laughs> and then they fucking stuck me right back in another full face mask. I was like, why? God, no. <laughs> okay, so um, I know uh, a while back you uh, came out and said you, you, you had, uh, was it, is it intestinal? Uh, uh, colon. Colon cancer? Yes. Um, how's that? You're, I, I we're, know we did briefly downstairs before we came up, but are you doing good? We're doing great. Um, I'm, I, like I've, I said before, they were able to remove everything, okay. and I'm just being monitored a lot. I go to the dentist, I pull my pants down, I'm like, oh, wrong doctor. <laughs> um, I'm being monitored a lot, and uh, they, you know, it's like, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, good. I'm, I, I, I've changed so much stuff in my I quit smoking. I still drink a lot of pop, and I still eat a lot of steak. And I got to cut that down, but like I'm, I'm eating a lot more. I'm taking care of the vitamins, taking care of my body. Um, I don't put anything in my body, you know, extracurricular drugs. I, I, I'm sober. I, I just, I, it's I'm trying, I'm trying to live a better life. And you know, when your mortality's put in front of you, you yeah. kind of put what's important to you. So right. that's where I'm at right now. I'm living for today, good, and I don't think about tomorrow. I just go. Yeah, you just go. Yeah, and I had, when my daughter came to me and told me she was pregnant, mm -hmm. and I was going to be a grandfather, I lost 80 pounds. Of course you did. And Did you shoot the boy? Uh, well, did you shoot I, the boy? I didn't shoot him. Um, I did. Everybody knows. We can bury the body later. I don't know it's still, it's still pending. <laughs> it's, yeah, we're still pending. Yeah, trial is still pending. I got pending. a shovel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We... Let's just say um, I spent the night in jail. Oh, of course you did. Uh -huh. um, uh, well, that's the thing. Our, our kids are our legacy. Yes. And we want to protect them as much as we possibly can. But, I mean, Lord knows you got a beautiful baby uh, coming to you, grandbaby coming to yeah. you. And that's an amazing thing. He's five now, but, yeah. Oh, then, 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 well, we, 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 he, he got your little grandbaby. Yeah. I bet you love that grandbaby oh. more than you do life itself. He is the coolest. You should see. He would be here interviewing. And he'd be asking you questions. Well, I, would total, I would totally let him ask me he, a question. Oh my, he gets on. Which Power Ranger do I like? Red. Yeah. <laughs> no, Godzilla. He, Godzilla says, oh, he loves Godzilla. Oh, then we'd have a little argument because I'm a Kong guy. Oh, he'll argue with you. <laughs> he will argue with you. I love Godzilla, don't get me wrong. And but. he can do the whole Godzilla where it, the, he powers up through his back. 
Oh, he can. He makes that noise, and then he puts his head up in the air and he screams like he's, you know, projecting that <laughs> light. Oh yeah. That's that's amazing. He is so funny. Now you're my age, and your grandfather. Yeah. yeah. My daughter's twenty five. My son's twenty three. Uh, my uh, our old my my oldest son's twenty. Okay. And uh, Morgan, my stepson, who drums for a Killer's Confession, he's yeah. 20, he's twenty. He'll be twenty six this year. Okay. And so I know. Yeah. I, I don't. I, I keep telling all of them, no grandbabies, none. <laughs> all of you, too much. I've had too many kids. I don't want no grandbabies. <laughs> and Julie well, and Mama AKC is always looking at me. She's like, mm -hmm, you're going, you're going. They're going to have you wrapped around your pinky. I'm like, I know it. I know. And I don't want it. <laughs> From day one, he came over, and he would not. My daughter would literally have to bring him over, so she, he would go to sleep. Oh. He wouldn't go to sleep. Right? I don't want I would, that. I would sing to him. I've already changed diapers. For, I don't want no grandbabies. Oh, I don't no, I don't change diapers. No, I didn't do that. I see. I'm gonna get stuck with that bullshit. And I'm, <laughs> no, no. I told my daughter. I said, if this, was, if I didn't know this was a bunch of fun, I'm just gonna make a deal. I wipe their ass. You wipe mine. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had him first if I had known it was this much fun. I'd have um, grandkids first. Oh, no, oh no, my God, no. it's so much. Fun. I'm just not ready for it. I'm not ready for the word grand. Oh, I'm oh, in Papa, front of me. Papa. I'll be Paw Paw. Yeah. My dad was Paw Paw. I'll be Paw Paw. Yeah, be Paw Paw. But I don't want to be Paw Paw yet. <laughs> I'm Waylon. <laughs> Waylon is not ready to be Paw Paw. I'm not ready. <laughs> not. I'm not there yet. I'm still 12. <laughs> no 12 year old needs to be a grandfather. No, because you stay 12. When you because I'm not buying him toys. I'm buying me toys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might buy doubles. One for you and four well, for yeah, me. One, yeah. one, one for each. One for each. Okay, all right. Yeah, he wears me out. He, he does. He's whew. They always do, but I mean, I love kids. Like people bring kids to the show all the yeah. time. I love kids. I do. So don't take this as I. Do. I'm just not word ready for the word grand, grand in front of my name. <laughs> it's like I'm not, I know, no, 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 no. I'm still 12. <laughs> I'm not even old enough to drink. <laughs> no, I know you like kids. I've seen you at a lot of shows from Mushroom, and you know, and I know you love kids. I, I love kids. Kid. I do. I, children are the future. Uh, they they have an innocence about them that just you know it's like if you can't love a child you're something's wrong with you yeah like uh, like I see a lot of injustice with a lot of kids and I worked with kids for a while and it was because I love children and there's nothing against that you know it's like right. I love children not in a weird way I don't sniff them I don't do that I, I just I think they're amazing creatures um, I, I love the wonder in their eyes I love the curiosity. Um, I had a lot. I had a very kind of a traumatic childhood with a lot of things I had to go through, and a lot of that innocence was taken from me. So, like, for me, I would make a child believe Santa Claus was real until they were 21. Yeah. Like, I love that just that that spirit and just excitement. You know, they see something and you you think that they just figure it out. World hunger. You know, they have just bow and it blows up yeah. in there. And it's that that look melts me. And this is oh yeah, he he does he, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It, yeah. it just melts you. It's like oh, it does. God. And it, and the things they come up with. He stubbed his toe one day and he goes, "Papa, my toe." I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry." He looked and he goes, "You didn't do it." <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I love it when they're like, "My arm's sparkling." You mean it's asleep? No, it's sparkling. sparkling yeah. It's sparkling. <laughs> 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 it sparkles. It's like, yes, it is. Yeah. Now that I think about it, that is a, it's not asleep. It's sparkling. It's sparkling. <laughs> Somebody put that thing out. <laughs> now, you were just saying that your stepson is, is your drummer now. Yes. And has he been... He's been doing it for quite a while, right? He's been doing it for four years now with yeah, us. He, yes. He, he, he came in after year one. He's been with me since 17, and uh, he's been through all the lows with AKC, and, and now he's he's coming up on the highs. And, uh, you know, he's learned what this business is. He's, he's learned his business. And, uh, like, I've tried to teach him right, keep him out of the bullshit that I was in when I was his age and just trying to keep him smart on like what this actually is and how to properly enjoy it and respect it you know a lot of people want to get to do what i get to do and uh you know i never re really truly respected that when i was younger and now i do respect it and it's like i'm trying to teach him right because and i'm trying to teach all these younger bands of like don't take this for granted you're lucky and you know you get there, there's going to be a high point and there's going to be low points 
enjoy each moment and learn from the lows to make the highs even better. Yeah, I mean, last year, simple point, everything shut down. There were no bands. Everybody just- Well, there were bands. Well, there were bands. What I'm saying, there wasn't tours, there wasn't, you know- There wasn't? Well, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you did. I, well, I, I, I followed. I'm sorry, people. You can't <laughs> take this away from me. No, he, I know I'm you. doing it. You didn't have to be there, but I'm doing it. And uh, I didn't do a, I didn't really believe in doing an online concert. I thought it was kind of hokey. I, I felt like it took away a little bit of the magic of a live event. And I refused to do it. And I will continue to refuse to do it forever. If you want to see it, come see it. And if you don't, don't. But I'm not putting it on the internet. Not for any one of you. Yeah. There, well, I'm not taking away from that you magic. You get more in, into the audience of it. I mean, you walk on the audience. That's what I do. That's it's like, you it's do. like you, you know, it's like I'm, I'm not trying to be any certain way and, and push agendas or anything like that. I'm just telling you, it's like it wouldn't work for me. I would probably mic drop and be like, I ain't doing this shit. This is, <laughs> this is dumb. There's nobody here. Yeah. And it's like I, I, I couldn't do it. It, it. it would just, it just takes away what I find, uh, I, I, that takes away the magic for me. I'm right. just like, I got to have you there and I'm here. And we got to got to have that moment where we lock eyes and somebody farts. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's an awkward moment. And you know, no, it's just there's a special, there's a special thing that happens with live music and it cannot be duplicated and it cannot be recorded and it cannot be translated in any media whatsoever other than being there and to feel it for yourself. And if you don't understand that, you need to reevaluate your entire life. Yeah, you did. I, I, I followed. I, I saw you on the road here and there and going places and. And I was like, yeah, he's from Florida. Now. <laughs> now. I just, you know, it's like I, I will not stop my life for anything. I'm not afraid. I will live every day to its 100% fullest. I will not be afraid of the unknown. I will not be afraid of death. I'm only given this time, and I'm going to use it, and I'm not going to live in fear. And if you want me to, I'm sorry. I'm not your guy. Yeah. I am not your guy. You got me fucked up. Yeah, that, that's, I, I, I didn't even live in fear when I was in Iraq, so. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. if you live in fear, you're not living. And, uh, you know, no matter what part of life you're in, man, you've got to get up. You've got to do something. We are a social creature. You know what the worst punishment you can do to somebody is? What's that? Put them in solitaire. Yeah. Put them by themselves. That is the worst punishment. We're not meant for it. We're not. And, uh, and we're not meant to be afraid of each other either. You know, it's like, granted, they're, you know, it's like, I don't want anybody sick. I don't want anybody to die. But you can't take each other away. Because once you know you're by yourself and you don't want to be there, trust me, ask a prisoner that's been in, been in the hole. They'll tell you it's the yeah. worst. And we just did it to ourselves for a year. And I just said, screw it. I'm not doing that to myself. I'm not here to torture myself. I'm here to live this life experience experience it for what it is, take it as much as I can, maybe leave a good footprint for somebody else. And um, if people don't agree with that, you don't agree with it. But I am not going to be another number in a long line of no one. Yeah. And and you're not, I mean, I, you know, I follow, I know, I've known your career since Mushroom Head and we met, you know, you were just walking through the tent and you stopped at the table for an interview mm -hmm. for your AKC. Actually, the stocking cap you had on your head that you gave me is hanging on my wall still Hell yes. in, in my studio. Thank you. Um, so it's still there. And actually, when I'm on Twitch, when we're doing our Twitch show, you can see it. It's right back there. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's you. When you meet some people, and you just there's a, there's you know a connection, and you it's an it's an admiration of what you do. You know, especially what you went through, um, and you know what I mean, even transitioning out of mushroom head doing your own thing and then getting sick and now being well and you're still going you're, there's nothing like you said there's nothing going to stop you nothing's going to stop me nobody yeah. um, you will take my life experience away from me in my cold dead hands I will be done I will not be here but as long as I'm able to breathe this air and as long as I'm able to walk this earth nobody is going to take that life experience away yeah. from me because what's the point if you're not living? 
I'm serious. What is the point? There is no point. You can't take money with you. You can't take fame with you. You can't take any of this with you. But you can leave a mark. Yes. You can leave a good mark or you can leave a some bullshit fucked up mark. Yeah. But the fact is, this is an experience. Life goes on. Life will go on. Life will always find a way until this planet can no longer be inhabited. It will continue. It will continue with or without you. So you can make the decision in your head to put yourself in your corner and be sad and be depressed and, and wonder why life ain't working for you. Or you can get up and go do something and experience things that you didn't know were there. And you can learn things and you can learn from others. And you can start, start having a bigger heart and, and, and expressing that. And maybe you can't change the world, but you can change yourself. Yeah. And maybe somebody will learn from what how you changed. And so you like you change somebody's life too. I mean that's you know I started Asgard for Chicago bands. Yeah. That's why I started it 11 and a half years ago. And then all of a sudden I've been getting bands from all over 70 countries now. We have bands from 70 different that's countries. That's what I'm talking about. And getting to talk to you know musicians and artists like yourself is a perk for me. I enjoy it because you know we 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 share the same music, but. The little kids, the, the one up and comers, those are just those I, are the ones I that matter. To those well, you know, it's like, like I, it took me a long time to learn this. Fame doesn't matter. Fame is fickle. Fame is, yeah, I, it, it's nothing. Um, money is nothing. I um, mean, granted, yes, it pays your bills and it keeps you fed. But it's nothing. Um, you know, can you get up every day and look in the mirror and smile? Can you get up and look at the day and be like, wow, man, it's beautiful. That's. Yeah. That's being rich. Being happy no matter what position you're in and being able to make things work and 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 to continue and be like, you know matter no matter what, man, I'm I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. We're going to make the best of it. And you know, with all these I see a lot of bands come up and you know, they're they're addicted to the same things I was when I was their age. And I always like to pull them aside and be like, you know, this shit's going to end. You know, it's like yeah. who's going to really be there? when times are bad think about that and for every head that you step on on your way up is every ass you gotta kiss <laughs> on your way back down and trust me some of them people don't wipe their ass and it's bad man it's a mouthful of shit <laughs> and uh you it's just like people need to start really getting over themselves and i've 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 got over myself i love my life I love my wife. I love I love my children, I, and I just yeah. I, I'm lucky to get to do what I do. Still, I, I'm 42. I'll be 43 this year. And how many people can say they've had a career that has spanned as long as mine has? And I've got to do as many things as I have. I'm lucky. Yeah, and I'm 10 years older than you, so there you go. Yeah, that's why I'm a grandfather, and you're not. Now. <laughs> I got kids your age. I started earlier. Yeah. I must have had good game. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I, didn't. <laughs> I just was stupid. <laughs> now to go because I know you just got here and I know that uh, you got to you know load in your microphone. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I got to load in merch and load yeah. in. No, they probably already did. Got something for you. Hold on. Before we go, since. Here go. All right. All right. So since you gave me the hat, the first AKC hat, here is our new logo, first shirt. Hey, guys. Be sure to get you one. Yep. Just go to AsgardRadio.com. You can order yours. And stage towels. <laughs> I like being clean. I already yes. told you once. Yep. And they're my favorite colors. Orange. Orange bear down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we Thank went you. to a Sebastian Bach concert. We covered him, and it was so hot there. We got home that night. And I'm like, you know what? We need to go do stage towels. These are awesome. So that yeah, we came up with that. That looked like guys. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Clean the shit out of me. <laughs> All right. Well, you go get to work. Have a great show tonight. And thank you. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And. 
thank you. Wholeheartedly, I'm glad you're doing well. Dude, I'm it, doing really good. Because um, you did scare a lot of people. I mean, you really did. I mean, well, I know it scared yourself. I don't want to die, but no, it's going to happen. We all, everybody's going to die, but we're glad that you're fine. We're glad that you're... You think well, my AKC. That's who you think. She's the one who dragged me to the hospital. She's the one who dragged me to the doctors when, when she knew something was wrong and I wanted to deny it. Yeah. She's the one that fought with me in the, in the parking lot, and she's the one that dragged me by the ear. And she's the one <laughs> that makes sure I eat my medicine every day. She's the one that I'm, she's the one. Y'all thank her. Yeah. Like, because I would not do it if it wasn't for her. Because yeah. I'll get my ass whooped if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mama AKC is, the, Julie, my wife, is the one that y'all thank her. Good. Well, y'all, she's I the reason. She's the reason I'm here. She's the reason I'm healthy. And uh, she is the reason I, you know, I am who I am today. I owe all credit to my wife. Oh, I will thank her. I will because that's I'm I'm really glad you're still around because we haven't had a chance to catch up in uh, since then. So yeah, I was I was waiting for this. So thank you very much. Thank you, brother. And thank have you. Have a great show tonight, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna be seeing you. Oh, you will for a long. Time. I'm gonna get some food now. Okay, all right. Time to eat. <laughs>